Hey everybody, it's Brian and Dave, and we are back on the football farm. Back, and hopefully this sounds better than last time. It was a little bit loud last time. Dave shat himself when I laughed at one point last week. It's always a surprise when you laugh. Is it? Yeah, I'm not that funny. I, l- I laugh at everything, though. You do. <laughs> I think I'm really funny, but in sort of reality, yeah. when I encounter actual people, I'm not. Yeah, see, when I laugh, it's, it's, not, a good, it's not a good barometer. No. Yeah. Well, you should have told me that afterwards. I probably should have. That's fine. Because now you're going to be really quiet this whole time. No, 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 no. I've got opinions. <laughs> I've got stats. I've got knowledge. What do you got opinions on, Dave? Well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go through it and then I'll offer the opinions. i got questions from... i got two questions from Mark Atwood today. You're going to add them later on? We'll do uh, the, yeah. the mailbag at the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, one might come up before that. And we can address it. It's not about Man United again. It's a bloody hell. What's going on there? No, it's not about Man United. That's okay. Nothing's in the wrong with that. No. There's nothing wrong with that. Because I have a lot of love for Ander Herrera right now. I love him. <laughs> you, that's, you said it twice. I know. You must really love him. I really do. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the highlight of him cynically fouling Roberto Firmino and then getting shoved in the face and then looking all put out like, I don't know why he shoved me. <laughs> Maybe because you were grabbing his jersey for 10 yards. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I was going to put on my Swansea City scarf. Absolutely. That was... So kindly gifted by Secret Santa in the office. We were supposed to come up with three things for, the, for Secret Santa gifts, that, for ideas. And uh, my three things were a Swansea City something, uh, a Swansea City something, and a Swansea City something. Well, she only got you one of them. I know. Selfish. But you're only supposed to you pick one. Oh, okay. There's a $25 limit or whatever. She probably got your list and just went... <sighs> She's like, how am I going to get this? So I sent her a link. She's like, but this is coming from the UK. I said, figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> to get the cheapest thing and just deal with the yeah. airfare and stuff. Yeah. Well, she did a good job. You look resplendent. Thank you. That's a, I like this scarf. Yep. It's got a nice crest on it. I should, I should put this this way. Anyway. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, you look, you can't look really see way. it on television. Sure. Or on the podcast. Did you have a nice weekend, Brian? I did. I'd like to ask you the question first. Today. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll change the pace. Yeah, exactly. Um, what did we do? Friday, um, I sat on my butt. I think I maybe. Oh, I watched the Oasis documentary. Uh, what's it called? Supersonic. Yeah. On Friday, I watched that. Quite good. A couple of pricks, but they had a couple of good songs, too. Yeah. Well, I sent you a text. I said, you know, they might be douchebags, but... Yeah. That Noel can sure write a tune. I do feel a bit uncomfortable enjoying Champagne Supernova because it's a bit overrated and overplayed, but I still like it. It's still a good so song, I don't, I don't yeah. Care, yeah. I don't know, it was a good one. Them doing a bunch of crystal meth in Los Angeles. These things happen. Every time, <laughs> These things happen. Whenever I'm out in LA, you know, I always get back on it. I didn't think crystal meth, crystal meth was a thing yet in like 94. Well, they're pioneers, musically and in their <laughs> As drug users. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Cutting edge. Well, that's good. Mm-hmm. What'd you do? I asked you, I asked you on Sunday, it, on Sunday, and yeah. you couldn't remember what you did this weekend. <laughs> hey, it must have been a good time then, yeah? Ooh. No, it was uh, just standard. Three days long, though, so I got 50% oh, extra, right. just nothing. That's right. So that's what me and Rachel had a toast to a... Uh, Martin Luther King to, or yesterday rather. Did you go get uh, pork belly at Vanguard? No, let me tell you. <laughs> I was a bit pissed off actually because we went to a, a local establishment that we frequented in the past and we had a couple of which, drinks. Which one? Well, I don't want to tell you because I'm going to criticize them. Oh, hold the mic. What is it? Boone and Crockett. Oh, but, no! But we went there. You know that they have their happy hour, right? So it's yeah. like five bucks or whatever. Yeah. So we had a, an even number of drinks obviously because there were two of us mm-hmm. and he charged us for an additional one. So I said... Uh, what do you mean? They charge you for three? Well, no, they charged you for seven. We had six. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So At the end. Yeah. And then I said, hey, I'm sorry. Um, I think you've charged for an extra drink. And you went, oh, really? And then he looked at me and he's like, yeah, I'm willing to take uh, one of the drinks off. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. I was like, why are you being such a dick? Like, you just I just, just go, oh, sorry, man. I don't know. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. Let me take care of that for you. Yeah. 
Like you don't, you don't have to like make me feel like an ass for noticing. Yeah, and it. I was like, oh, thanks, I really appreciate that. Like, well, no, why? Why am I thanking him for yeah. trying to rip me oh, off? Great, great customer service. I think he did it on purpose, to be honest. Of course he did. He spent half the time. They have that. They have that sign in there: pretentious drinks without the pretentiousness. Let me tell you, there's a lot of pretentiousness going on. He spent an awful lot of time chatting up a blonde at the bar, and not a lot of time uh, taking orders. Let me tell you that. <laughs> I had a bit of a thirst on. <laughs> I had to drink like half an old fashioned. I was so thirsty. Just <laughs> slam it down. Absolutely. But no. that, that sign, though, pretentious drinks without the pretentiousness in itself is a pretentious yeah. sign. <laughs> yeah. If, if you weren't pretentious, you wouldn't have to put the sign there. <laughs> Presumably. I don't know. I'm not sure I said that properly, but yeah. you get the feeling of what I mean. They make good drinks. They do. But let me tell you, old Doyle out there in Dublin, well, yeah. actually, he, he lives in Galway. Or, or sorry, Ennis. Yeah, but uh, that man can mix a drink, and yeah, the whiskey sour, much better. But you weren't feeling sour after one of them, were you? Shut the f- to Doyle. To Doyle, a toast and his whiskey sour. All right, enough of this shite. Right. Let's get on with some soccer slash football chat. Some football. Where do you want to start after a weekend of action in the Premier League, Brian? Well, let's start with Everton's humping of Man City. What do you think about that? I thought it was very enjoyable. <laughs> I really, you know what, Dave? What you do? Play a couple of kids and just let them run around and have fun. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Luke was only on for about three minutes. Well, uh, what's it? Holgate's only twenty. Yeah, he was really good actually. Yeah, and old uh, they couldn't Tom, get they couldn't get by Holgate. The whole game didn't seem like. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on with their attack. It just, they seem to be quite incapable of actually creating. They could. I mean, they had a couple well, of chances, but they were all kind of long range hits from as Sterling got through once and kind of yeah. bogged up. Someone else got through. Did Silva, Silva get through? Silva. Well, both were from passes from De Bruyne, which were just glorious. Yeah. But, um, I mean, and they were in the first half more so than the second half. They were hitting on some some through balls near the box, but they just couldn't, didn't materialize in anything. I, I thought Everton did a nice job of, once it did get into a danger zone, just swarming whoever had the ball and just getting rid. I thought they did a nice job defensively, Everton. Yeah, I think so. Good old Tom Davis in midfield. He's, I think he's, he's very a, enjoyable. He's in my dream midfield with uh, Ander Herrera right now. Yeah, I'll think of a third one later. But th- at the moment, like just so much energy. And, yeah, uh, and it was a nice little goal as well. Nice it, little it, it was. Finish. It certainly wasn't a perfect game from him by any means. I mean, there are some instances where he played a couple passes where he probably could have taken his time. Oh well, yeah, but you know, but that's going to happen. He was excited. Yeah, but for the most part, yeah, just the energy he brought. The um, I don't, I don't even know what you'd call it, but I mean, he, he made a couple of... Key, you could say dynamism. A couple of maybe th- two or three, maybe four key passes, especially the one for the for the opening goal. Oh, yeah. It was quite yeah, nice. Yeah. Down to uh, to Morales, who cut it back for Lukaku. That was a nice goal. Oof, I love Lukaku. But a perfectly weighted pass from, from yeah. Davies to get it started. It was a really nice move. Yeah. But yeah, because they've been... You know, where they've got sort of Gareth Barry or uh, like James McCarthy in the field. I mean, they're competent, but it's kind of slow. It's just or, ponderous. Or, uh, or yeah. Gay as well, I guess. Yeah. I mean, he's a bit more dynamic, but he's not going to get forward mm-hmm. like Davis did. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's a different different element. They look so much better. Yeah, like his that. goal was absolutely terrific. Just the two guys start to crowd him, cuts it back with a nice little back heel into the, into the infield. Yeah. Gets rid Gets knocked over, gets up, gets it back, bam, goal. Yeah, because I thought his first touch was quite crap once he got back in the penalty box, but then he managed to kind of sort of improvise and but think that over. that chip, oh, the Yeah, it was nice. Dave's and favorite. What would have been even more exciting if Lukaku had banged it in on the line? It's <laughs> <laughs> on his goal. Screw you, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Done a pippo and zaggy. Yeah. It was good for that. I like a goal. He score. almost did too, that dick. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hey. He can't. He can't help it. He's a striker. That's just his instinct. Instinct took over. I wasn't sure point. if it was going over the line. I yeah. had no choice but to <laughs> bang it home and celebrate like as I it was on the line. Yeah, <laughs> just run around like he scored a thirty yarder. <laughs> it was good though. Yeah, Man City are kind of stagnant. They've got a lot of a lot of their players are kind of the wrong side of being useful. Well, I read that uh, there was a nice little uh, piece. Well, it was in the. It was called, it was called an article, would you? It was in the mailbag on Football Three Six Five. I was reading on the bus. Ooh, you we were that. both on together and didn't even realize it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, talking about yeah, just that fact about how you know they have all these players, but they're all aging. You know, one of the things that 
Pep likes to do with his teams is utilize his fullbacks in different ways, and he doesn't really have the fullbacks to do that, but they didn't really buy anybody, and they're not really going to buy anybody in this. And it's it's going to be a couple of years before they get this thing sorted out, I think. Yeah. Or at, mean, least, at least next year. Yeah, I mean, it's been, everyone said it. So I'll just say it anyway. But yeah, ever, in the summer they kind of bought they bought some good players for the future. They bought Stones and Sane, but they didn't buy where they needed. Yeah, and they bought all the Gabriel or whatever, who's not even yeah. registered or whatever. Yet. Right, yeah, he can't even play. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they should have bought at least one full bike. It's really yeah. easy, this game, once you sort of look back five months. I thought future. for sure they'd get, you know, Alaba or, you know, anybody. Peace check. I mean, that's the, somebody. The Valencia guy, that's the one. Gaia. Oh, Gaia, oh, Joe. And we, we, crap we, as well. we used to have a Jose Gaia boner when I, we played FIFA. I think everyone on FIFA buys him. He's one of the... Who were our fullbacks? King Kenny, Tete, and uh, Jose Gaia at Swansea yeah. in our first FIFA dynasty that we played together. Yeah. That was quite a team. Ericsson and Pogba. <laughs> I think, I think you'll ask, <laughs> as you'll recall, they played uh, as two of the three center halves. We just basically played the one center half. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right, because right, we played... We played the uh, the Guidolini formation, the three five, the three four one one. Whatever happened to that guy? Mm. Mm. I haven't heard him for a while. Last I saw him, he was checking out of a hotel in South Wales. Yeah, but yeah, the, in the playing, he can't. Maybe Tom Davis is not the finished article in midfield, but his energy against Zabaleta, who's not a midfielder and was never a midfielder. That really, it just really. Him playing in midfield, watching that because I watched it back. Yeah. Did you watch it back at all? Did I watched a bit, so I haven't watched the whole okay, thing. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get the password back to you. I was, I was asleep at 9 o'clock last night. That's okay. I got it at 5.30 this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Half an hour before my alarm went off. <laughs> Wasted time. <clears throat> um, but the... Uh, I just... I don't understand. It, it was bothering me so much. It's just Why is... They're trying to play... It looked like they're trying to play a diamond with Sterling and... Um, and uh, Aguero up top is kind of what because they had they had Yaya Torre on the base, Zabaleta kind of on the right, uh, Silva was just kind of everywhere, and then uh, De Bruyne on the left. It was just a weird. I don't know. They tried playing yeah. it last week too. It works. That sort of thing works better when they had Gundogan in midfield because he was, yeah. you know, what you might call a midfielder. But you can you can run a diamond, but. You don't put De Bruyne at left of midfield. You put him at the tippy top. Yeah, I would say so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, but just Zabaleta in midfield is just very angering to me. And Toure is just kind of old, and he can't. He doesn't get. He's not he like is a slow. Dynamic box to box. He guy. he is. He jogs around. He sits on the ball for ages and makes sideways passes. He didn't make. I didn't. I don't remember one incisive forward pass. That yeah, yeah, Torre made unless it was maybe like a long diagonal or something. No. It was very boring from Manchester City. Yeah, and maybe uh, it possibly wasn't a four nil. Mm-hmm. You know, watching the two performances, it maybe four nil was a bit harsh. You know, I think three nil was right. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably right. Actually, they were pish, weren't they? Yeah. Oh well. Um, oh, uh, Mark Atwork's question. One of his questions relates to this to this game. Go on. Then. So, what what? Mark's question is, you know, regardless of who he has at his disposal and what he wants to do, should he try and puzzle piece them in, or should he just change his system to fit who he has right now? What do you think is the best? Well, what 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 should what do I think he would do, or what would I what do I think he should do? Or yeah, what your opinion? What yeah, what would you do if you were in Pep's position? Like a football manager, if you had Manchester City and those players, well, I mean, what, the, would you, the, what would you do? The thing is, like, this is a football manager. Like, a no, big, I, I, I know, I know, but I mean, yeah, but you're, no. you as manager, how would you set that team up? Well, I would uh, make sure that my best players were in their best role. So, De Bruyne is playing as a number ten. Mm-hmm. That's just happening. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could even play him as a as a wing, but cutting in. Because he, he, yeah, that's where he played at Wolfsburg. I feel like, yeah, I feel like a just a kind of fairly standard four two three one would be decent until they can kind of get the players that he wants. You know, mm-hmm. at least then, you know, Silva's plays, you know, out wide and sort of cut in before mm-hmm. uh, in a four three three and a four two three one. De Bruyne mm-hmm. can do it, but I'd want to get De Bruyne in the middle or have him in the middle and Silva on one side of him, and then they can kind of interchange. 
Sterling is Sterling, really annoying. Just, just keep Sterling on the wing. Just keep him on the wing. I know, but he's really annoying. I know, but he's only little. <laughs> You'll get better. <laughs> he's, he's, how old is he? He's like 21 only. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe you. Maybe 22, but I think he's 21 still. I think he's 24. 